Hey guys, it's Chris Nicostro from Yad Review. So we had a chance to play with DJI's Phantom Vision 2. Uh, Vision because it has a camera built in, full HD. It's an Android or iOS device and you can connect over Wi-Fi and view the camera's uh, perspective in real time. This allows you to sort of fly wherever you need to fly um, and get it back. And that was kind of our experience. We flew it you know, well out of sight and if we hadn't been able to see which way it was facing based on the camera, we probably would have lost it. In addition to that, you can also control the angle of the camera, so you can tilt it down or up depending you know, how you want to view your subject. In terms of flying it, it's actually quite fun. I thought it would be sort of more like an experience to that of the Parade AR drone, which I found, fr found frustrating, but having an actual joystick uh, makes, the different, or makes the experience all the more visceral. As you can see, you can easily change direction. You can fly in circles, you can fly back and forth, and we were able to actually get a hand of it or, or, or get, a, get a hold of it pretty quick within a few minutes of flying it. Uh, however, though, if you really want to film some things you know, appropriately, it's going to take some more getting used to. As for distance, the... God, we're probably talking, you know, more than... easily more than 100 yards, give or take, at least. That was our experience. Altitude-wise, it's pretty ridiculous. I mean, you could see from the footage how high you can get. Things are a little exaggerated because you've got this really wide-angle lens in the camera, but I think it's still a great testament to how far this thing can go. So the Phantom 2 Vision is a fantastic toy. It's a fantastic piece of equipment. $1,200 is no drop in the bucket, but compared to some other quadrocopters on the market, this is really a great turnkey solution because it includes a full HD camera. Lastly, like I said, it's it's relatively durable. Uh, you probably want to avoid crashing it into concrete. But like I said, we did it a couple times and it continues to work to this day. I'm Kristen Acosta of Gadget Review. Have a good day.